we are going to convert exponential form to radical form. Did you know that 12 to the power of 1 half is the same as writing the square root of 12? Those are equivalent. That's worth memorizing, to be honest. Now, more complicated fractional exponents will call for something different. The rule is that the denominator of this fraction is the type of radical you're taking. In this case, it's the 11th root, which is something I've never actually seen in the real world, but it does exist in math. So this is 10 and taking the 11th root of it and then taking that answer and raising it to the power of six. Cool. So the numerator of a fractional exponent goes out here. The denominator is the type of root you are taking. Now, that's also the same as taking the 11th root of 10 to the power of 6 here. You're allowed to write the 6 either after you take the 11th root or before, and you should get equivalent answers on your calculator. Let's do it one more time for this 19 to the power of 5 sevenths. That is 19, and you are taking the 7th root of it then the power of five can either go on the 19 or it can be applied afterwards. This will be the last thing I ever write with that marker. There you go. That's the equivalent of 19 to the power of five sevenths. Now that includes whether or not you have a negative. This negative is on the 13 and we are applying this whole exponent to negative 13. So I'm gonna take the fifth root of the whole negative 13, and you are allowed to take odd roots of a negative number. I know you're not allowed to square root a negative number, but when that number is odd, you can do it. And then the power you're applying to that is squaring. That will be equivalent to taking the fifth root of negative 13 squared. Cool, again, the, the numerator can be written before or after sorry, before or after the radical is being dealt with math-wise. Now, this negative is not grouped with the nine. By order of operations, this is nine to the power of a quarter, and then you negativize the answer. So you write your negative. I'm going to write my fourth root here, and I actually don't need to write a power of one because a power of one doesn't do anything. So this is my answer here. Note that the negative is out front because it was not grouped with the nine the same way this negative was grouped with the 13. And lastly, seven to the power of a half. Huh, I should have started with that one. That's the same as the square root of seven. Exactly the same as A, just with a different base. Hey, thanks for being with me and best of luck.